so hello students now we'll learn some tricks of programming contest problem solving so checking if the number is even or odd without using mod operator sometimes arithmetic operations are costly so what is not costly bitwise operation the how in case of mod operation what to check whether a number is even or odd it actually checks whether the remainder is 1 or 0 so when a number's remainder will be 1 if we try to um if we try to convert a normal number in binary number what will we do in case of 5 if we write to convert this number in binary form what will it be 101 what about 7 it will like 111 what about 15 it will like 1111 okay let's talk about 13 it will like one uh, something one one zero one right and then in case of 14 14 is the even number right so what will it be 14 will be one one zero sorry one 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 zero right that's the binary representation of 14 in case of 12 what it will be it will be 1 1 0 0 right so what's the difference between 15 13 7 with 12 and 14 so the difference is the even number doesn't have 1 in the last place in the last uh, so even number doesn't have one in the last case here This is a even number because we don't have one in the last index In case of seven we have one in the last index in case of 15 we have one in the last index that means if our number last index of the number is one it is odd and if the last index of the number is zero it's even right so how to ensure whether it's one or zero just end with one if i end binary number of seven with one what will it result if i one and one it will result one right and that means it will result one 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 what about one one zero zero will it result if i end it 1100 with uh, 1 if i end 1100 with 1 what will it result 1 and 0 will give you 0 right so if 1 and 0 give me 0 i will be assured that the number is even and if the 1 and 1 gives me 1 i'll be assured the number will be odd so instead of using mod 2 i can just write if a and 1 equal equal 0 print even else print odd here i am using shorthand if else shorthand if else means i am not using any if else here i am just writing this question mark to represent if and ifs first case will be for if true and second case will be for if false so I guess that's cleared and if it's not cleared please ask me in the problem solving session I will try to explain that again then now let's use first multiplication or division by 2 whenever you want to try a number multiplication by 2 you will use ester and arithmetic operation right so sometimes arithmetic operations are costly i have already mentioned that to reduce the cost we can use a bitwise operation which is left shift for multiplication we can use left shift and for division we can use right shift how in case of 101 5 the binary uh, representation of 5 is 101 if i try to 
left shift it the number will be left shifted and there will be an empty place this number will be replaced by 0 so the next left shifted number will be 1010 what does it mean 1010 this is represent binary representation of 10 right so if you try to multiply 5 with 2 what will be the result 10 so it's actually trying to multiply by 2 right so whatever you want to do uh, let's try 6 so that will be 110 one, right so if you try to multiply it by 2 you just need to left shift it by 1 so 1100 zero, zero will be the left shifted answer and what does it mean 1100 zero, zero is actually 12 so your code will work right and what about you want to left shift a number by 3 if you try to left shift a number by 3, the value there will be 3 empty space and that will be replaced by 3 0. So the answer will be 10 in 3 that means 8 into 6. So the uh, this number is actually binary representation of 48. And what does 48 mean? 8 into 6. That means Whenever you are trying to left shift a number, it will be multiplied by 2 to the power x, where x is the number that you are left shifting. That means if you are left shifting n by x, the answer will be multiplied by number 2 to the power x. So in case of left shifting 2, the number will be multiplied by 4. In case of left shifting 4, the number will be multiplied by 16. So instead of doing arithmetic operation, you can just use this left shifting for multiplying a number. In uh, Now, division. For division, you just need to write right shift. How to use right shift? Actually, let's think about this 6. So, if you want to divide it by 2, the answer should be 3, right? Now, try to right shift the number by 1. What will be the answer? 0 will be lost, right? Because I am trying to right shift. So, answer will be actually 1, 1, right? So, 1, 1 means 3. That means whenever you are trying to divide a number, you can just right shift the number and you will get the answer. So, if you try to right shift the number by 2, so what will be the answer for this it will be 1 right so 2 means you are trying to divide a number by 4 if you divide 6 by 4 your answer will be 1 in case of integer division right so it's really working now then talking about binary number we are talking about bi uh, now we are concerned about binary number but where we will get this binary number will we convert it no we don't need to convert it we just need to write the main number here in case of x in case of n i just need to write 15 i just need to write 16 whatever i want to be multiplied and then they will convert my number to binary and i will get my answer in decimal point number they will do their operation in binary number but i will get actually the def uh, decimal number so i don't need to worry about this binary representation i am just explaining how it is working okay then let's talk about swapping to numbers so in case of swapping a number we can use a temporary value right so i am going to take two integer number a and b so temp equal should be a then i will just write b uh, a will be replaced by b and then b will be temp so the number will be swapped right how let's check it temp will be actually key 6 then a equal b that means a will be 9 now uh, sorry b equal temp so temp will be what's the value of temp 6 so b will be 6 i have swapped the values right a equal 9 and b equal 6 
so what about i am not trying to use a temporary variable i'm not trying to i am i don't want to waste any memory i just need to swap the value without using a temp variable for that we can just use a uh, arithmetic operation how i just need to write a equal a plus b and then b equal equal a minus b and then again a equal a minus b actually it will swap all the values how just check it whenever i am trying to a plus b what will be the answer 6 plus 9 will be 15 right so the main new value of a is 15 now if i trying to uh, use this operation what will it do 15 minus 9 right because the latest value of a is 15 and b is 9 so 15 minus 9 means 6 so my latest value of b is 6 now if i want to do the operation again a means 15 minus b means 6 what will be the answer 9 so my updated value of b and a is 6 and 9 so the it's already swapped now this one is arithmetic operation right what about a bitwise operation okay i'm trying to do a bitwise operation for doing that i just need to write a xor b do you know what is xor uh, in computer programming we write xor like this in java and c++ so it's actually works like an xor and xor uh, do you know the operation of xor xor means whenever you are getting two different value you should answer one whenever you are getting two same value you should answer zero so in case of this you will get zero in case of this you will get one so this is actually the truth table for xor so we are going to do the operation how it swaps to value so firstly a x or b what's the binary representation of 6 1 1 0 right what's the binary representation of 9 1 0 0 1 so in case of 1 on 0 we just need to write 0 1 on 0 right we can write it so if i want to exert this two value what will be the result first i need to exert this one and this one so 1 and 0 two different value right i have to write 1 and then 0 1 again again our answer will be 1 again 1 0 1 1 0 1 so my first answer will be sorry my first answer will be 1 1 1 1 in case of b so again i need to exert two value a and b but my a is replaced by 1 1 1 1 so i need to exert it again by p b is, is still the previous one so 1 1 will be 0 1 0 will be 1 1 0 will be 1 and 1 1 will be 0 so the answer will be 0 1 1 0 now b is replaced by 0 1 1 0 right now i need to exert it again to get a so exert that 1 0 means 0 1 1 means 1 1 1 means 1 again 1 0 means 0 so your answer will be uh, sorry i have to. now if i try to exert it 1 0 means 1 1 on means 0, 1 on means 0, and 1 0 means 1. So again, your answer will be 1, 0, 0, 1. Now, let's try to calculate the, uh, calculate the decimal representation of these binary numbers. So what does 0, 1, 1, 0 means? 6, right? And what does 1, 0, 0, 1 means? 9 so b equals 6 and a equal 9 the number is already swapped congratulations now a shortcut technique of 
finding out the number of digits in a number that means how many digits are in 495 3 right so this method will actually return you 3 so we have already uh, solved some problem in CSC 110 and CSC 111 which is you need to take an input just like 495 then you need to print 495 so for doing that you needed to count the digits how many digits the number have right for that you needed to create a loop divide the number by 10 until the number gets 0 and then count the digits that you have in your number right so in case of that you just need to write one line which is method floor first bracket method loctane the number that you want to know the digit of and then first bracket close and then plus one in case of java you need to write like this in case of c plus plus you just need to write floor then locked in n you just don't you don't need to write math dot you can skip it so it will actually show you the number of digits in a whole number okay it will just work for actually uh, integer number it's not work for double number it will not work, work for double number so that's all and and i have already show, shown you the stl of c plus plus so in case of java if you want to use java for array sorting you just need to write import java dot util dot arrays and then arrays dot sort and in the first bracket you just need to the, write the variable of the array which you want to get sorted oh. there is another thing called big integer we will learn about big integer later whenever we will complete our c++ tutorials then we will learn about big integer sometimes it's quite important to handle a big 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 number but not widely used to be honest so that was your tips and tricks class i hope you have listened to the class i just hope you have tried your best to have concentration if you couldn't there is a solution you can watch the video later <laughs> okay. uh, so we are finished today next topic searching and time complexity we will learn next week and thank you i appreciate your patience and if you couldn't watch the video with full concentration please watch it again whenever it's needed because I will provide you some quizzes. You have to answer it by watching this video. So all the best for that. And try your level best to do well. I will try my best to help you as well. So bye bye.